Hey guys, this is a video for the uh, Capture the Flag lesson, Collection Volume 1. Um, let's see, if you ever can't find your way there, once you log in to try Hack Me, you can always click the Learn button up here in the All Rooms, and you can type in CTF. Now, Capture the Flags, there's lots of them, right? We want this one here, CTF Collection Volume 1. Um, this is the one you're going to do for your lesson. Now, if you look at it, there's a document where you're going to take a screenshot of all the uh, hacks after you've done them. There's also this useful tools doc. Open that up because you are going to use these on a lot or most of the lessons. Now, look at some of the tools we have. If you're going through a problem and you ever need to adjust the brightness or contrast of an image, click here. I checked all these that they work on your Chromebook, so we won't run into that issue I ran into before on Linux. Um, if you ever need to switch between binary, decimal, hexadecimal, if you ever need to convert numbers, click on that one. If you ever need to inspect a web page, um, you right click or two finger click and do show page source uh, and go into the HTML code. This is one of the most useful things. If you ever get a block of stuff, you don't feel like searching through it, um, do control F and type in a keyword or phrase and you can find it. Um, if you need a QR code reader, it's probably already on your Chromebook, but you can click this one if you want an online one. Um, if you ever know what's weird is on images, it usually records like the date and location and all sorts of data about it, which is called uh, interchange information or metadata. Um, and you can use this EXIF data viewer. Steganographic decoder. Uh, if anyone hides code inside secret messages or something inside images, you can usually find them with this steganographic decoder. CyberChef is probably the most useful one you'll have. Um, it's for encrypted data and it has tons of different hacks. Um, and then there's this other one that's like CyberChef where you can de decode lots of encryption techniques. Uh, it's France, so there's a little button you can click for English. So anyway, when you go to Try Hack Me and you go to Collection 1, you'll see the first one just says eh, it's a random CTF and basically there's 20 tasks all the answers will look like this so you know our pages try hack me so a lot of times capture the flags have this at the beginning um, since we're on try hack me we have THM sometimes it's CTF or Pico CTF or something like that and then you have curly braces and your flag goes in the middle <sighs> um, so, like, look at the first one here. It says, what does the base said? I don't believe that means say. Can you decode the following? Now, when I look at this, already I notice this is just some encrypted string of characters. It's supposed to look like this in the end. Now, if you notice, see how there's three letters or three asterisks then curly braces? That's probably going to be THM for try hack me and then the code. Now there's a hint here. A lot of times the hints will set you free. Uh, me personally, I would probably go to the Cyber Chef and get that open. And basically it has tons of ways to decode. Okay, so if I'm on Cyber Chef and I copy paste this in, copy paste it for input. Um, right now there's nothing on the output, but let's say I, I was guessing I needed to switch to base 64. I would click, double click on that and see how it changed it. Um, and you can go through all sorts of stuff here, right? Ew. None of them are right until they say like THM. Right, so there's lots of options here. If I want to get rid of it, I delete it. Um, if I believe I need it to go to hex, double click on that. Oh, that's not right. Right? 
delete that. So you could just randomly try stuff. It seems like a bad idea. But if you go to the Try Hack Me website and look at the hint, it tells you it's base 64. Huh. Wonder how I'm going to figure that out. Hmm. From base 64. Right? So maybe I use that one. And look at that. Isn't that cool? This thing has so many decoding things. And let's say base 64 wasn't on here. I could have just typed it in the, in the search bar. Right? Type base 64. Or maybe just a 64 would have been better. I don't have to type base. Right? And they pop up. There's lots of things you can do. But this is my winner. And this is what's cool about the answers. This happens a lot in Capture the Flags. You know, they put numbers in there that mean letters. So if you read this, J, U, 5 is an S, and 7 is a T. So just uh, decode, right? 3 is an E, o, 0 is an O, E. Decode the base, B, 4 is an A, S, E. So it's usually something humorous. Whatever it is, I'm just going to copy paste it in here and say, hey, paste, boom, THM, just decode the base, submit. Up here it says, whoop, whoop, your answer is correct. And you keep on keeping on. All right, the hints are good. The hints are good. Um, download task files. So a lot of times you'll come with a download. This one says meta, meta, meta. Hmm. I wonder if there's something in here about metadata. I don't know. You can figure that out. You'll find it. Um, it also says here, use the EXIF tool. And remember, if you ever get something, you can always use Control F and search. So you go through these. I already did one for you. Um, there's usually hints here. Sometimes the hints up here in the title. Mon, are we going to be okay? Something's hiding. That's all you need to know. It is sad. Feed me the flag. Oh, stag hide. So there's something hiding, and see how it says stag? Hmm. Wonder if that's a hint for one of our tools here. Okay, so you'll download these things. You'll download sometimes they're photos, sometimes they're QR codes, sometimes they're like little tricks, right? This one says highlight the text, so highlight this page, or check the HTML. Do you know you can right click and view page source? And look at the code. Oh my gosh, I don't want to read all this, right? But remember, you know, uh, Control F, right? Control F, I can search for anything I want, like uh, THM, right? And I can maybe find a, a code here, or maybe it's capital THM. Oh, I'll find, I'll find the same thing. Um, so you can look at the page source or, yeah, that should work if you click here first. I click in here. I like to use inspect, but I don't think your Chromebooks can do that. Because if you do inspect, it does it right on the spot you clicked last. So if I do control F and look for um, THM, you know, I can jump to it. There's seven of them in here. You just search through them. Right? Oh, there's probably one there. Yep, there it is. Anyway, um, or you can highlight the page. So, just some cool things. Um, QR codes and reverse it or read it. This one is tricky, but um, it's in this file. Here's the problem. Here's a hint you need for sure. When you download this, I can download it because I'm on a Mac and open this file up. And I can just control F and search for THM, right? Because this looks like a monstrosity. It's in here somewhere. The problem is your Chromebooks can't open a .hello file. So when you open this on your Chromebook, before you open it, something you can do is, crap, where'd that go? Something you can do is you can switch to downloads here 
and you can um, you can right click on this or rename it and if you rename it as a dot text file instead of a hello file on your Chromebook you'll be able to open it I don't know why uh, use txt if I open this up you'll be able to read it the same way and you'll be able to search for your your flag um, so anyway that's a helpful video these are fun they're like little treasure hunts capture the flags are like this and you get to use some cool tools online um, that hackers use or to stop hackers or you know it's kind of like spy stuff anyway pretty fun stuff i think you'll enjoy this and use this page Use the hints. Ask me if you get stuck. Talk to you later.